that's actually useful. Not just being being a loot whore for once. Ammunition. Is ammunition waste stuff? Hmm, doesn't seem to be a problem. No, it doesn't. Excellent. That's what I like to see. I'm going to limit my lootability. Okay. Uh, hmm. Now that I've nearly cleared out the town. Left field toss ball betting. We did have to see these guys. Someone you know is dead, Nell. Ooh, you're the new face. Wow, you must be up on all the latest toss ball games. Well, you know... So who do you follow? Wait, don't tell me. You look like a Hammersmith Thunder fan. No, Glacial Age Mammoths. I make a team up here. I play for Auntie Cleo's Darlings. Don't you recognize me? Let's try that. The darlings? <laughs> Seriously? Shh, Felix. I mean, uh, yeah, you're looking at the Darlings' newest <laughs> recruit. Boss is a shoe in for Rookie the Quarter. I'd heard they'd gotten a new hacker. Is that why everyone's making such a fuss about you? But what are you doing on Monarch? Uh, this is part of a goodwill tour of Halcyon. We're meeting our fans across the colony. <laughs> Maybe we're not so isolated <laughs> as I thought. You get to listen to games all day? Stellar Bay really is a paradise. It's pretty swell, but it's a whole lot better with company. Say, I don't think I've seen you before, and I'd remember that face. I'll try not to be a stranger then. Name's Felix, by the way. Let let me let me guess. This is going to be a, a romance story for this character that we're going to run around trying to sort out next. Get a room, you two. Sorry about that. <laughs> Was there uh, something I could do for you? Uh, let's see. I found this betting slip in a dead man's apartment. Any idea what might have happened to him? Poor Isaac. I was wondering why I hadn't seen him in a few days. I'd really like to help. Isaac was a sweet fellow, even if he did have terrible teeth. Stealing everything that isn't nailed down, all that Witcher 3 training coming in handy. I actually behaved myself in Witcher 3, apart from setting fire to some goats. Uh, I didn't steal too much. I mean, not genuine stealing. Feels right in this game, though. Uh, cut to the chase. Do you know who did it or not? Oh, hang on. No, let's not do that. Um, I'm listening. Go on. Right. So the thing with Isaac is he didn't know where to stop. He'd get stuck on something, and he just couldn't let it go. Sometimes he'd drink Purpleberry Punch by the leader. Other times he'd keep betting on a losing team. Started owing the wrong people money. So who did he owe? Let me guess. It's going to be that Everett Gill we saw in the pub. I don't know for sure, but I saw Elijah and his buddies pushing Isaac around. They're hooligans from Fallbrook. Uh, they sweep into town, drop supplies off behind the warehouse, and spend the rest of their stay getting rowdy over tossball games. They usually loiter in the alley behind the yacht club. They're not allowed in the bar anymore. I bet you anything Isaac ran into trouble with one of them. You can really kill all the NPCs in this game? All of them? That might be a challenge. Uh, I'll make them pay. Good. Someone's gotta. I don't know why. Mr. Sanjar will be pleased to hear about it when you're done. I know he gets fed up with the Fallbrook bullies, but there's not much he can do. Hmm. Let me guess, actually. I'm going to end up liking these Fallbrook people. Got anything to... Resident. And I think... Is this the pharmacy? Still a bit, it might be. Let's have a look at this uh, set of stairs here. Yeah, I thought there'd be something at the top. Actually, where does this go? If Vel is oh. capable of running the warehouse, she can certainly pick up her own caffeinoid. Don't be so hard on her. With Brax missing, she's working doubles and needs a little edge. Very well, dearie. But you stop by any time you like. Hmm? Thanks, I'll uh, I'll keep that in mind. You do that, Fred. Velma's gonna be extra cranky if she doesn't get her caffeinoid. Velma needs caffeinoid. Okay, we need to negotiate with her, so we'll bear that in mind. So, is everyone in this game like sexually overcharged and gagging for it? Hello, dearie. Why well, I don't believe I've seen you before. And with sweet cheeks like those, I'd remember. Oh dear. What can Auntie Abigail do for you? Um, <clears throat> I think I should put some points in medical. But anyway, 
I've been asked to pick up a medicine, some kind of caffeine or steroids. Bless your little heart, you must be caffeinoid. If it's pep you need, one pill does the deed. Pep pills. Now, dearie, who's this pick up for? Uh, let's see. It's for Nioka. Oh, no, if I say that, she won't get them because she's, she's locked out. She's had too much. I don't know, Auntie. You'll have to pry that secret from my sweet little cheeks. Orange, you a saucy <laughs> thing. Now, I may not be a fresh young thing anymore, but with age comes experience, <laughs> dearie. Where am I taking this? Uh-huh. Why don't you show me a thing or two? Much as I'd love <laughs> to. My rheumatism is especially fierce at the moment, and I'm all out of my medicine. Oh, what a shame. But I'd hate to send you away empty-handed. You were here for caffeinoid, weren't you? Who's it for? Oh, we're back to this? Okay. Um, mm, I'm gonna lie. I'm so sorry, but with the iconoclasts and the marauder filth chasing away what little trade we get, I'm afraid I have to reserve my supply for Stellar Bay residents. Oh, I see. Our reserves have gotten so low, I've even had to start locking the supply room upstairs. Oh. Isn't it a shame what some people will do to get a little extra? Just, uh, just, just, just upstairs, you say? What, um, maybe the first door on the right? Yeah, uh, okay. Um, I'll be sure not to break into it. Yeah, you can't trust people these days. You don't give five-finger discounts? Uh, do I, do I want to ask? I'm going to ask that. Aren't you a naughty boy? There are no discounts here, <laughs> but uh, Auntie knows what to do with mischievous men like you. I like the way she was like flexing her hand at that. <laughs> oh yes, what's that? Oh, I'd have to talk to Mr. Nandi about you. Of oh, oh, no, we don't want to get him involved. Anyway, is there anyone else needing a pickup from Auntie Abigail? Uh, Naoka. Oh, her. It's none of my business, but I have told her Dr. Williams would bump up her monthly allotment if only she'd join MSI. Contribute like the rest of oh, us. I see. Now I've gone and said too much. <laughs> and you know me, dearie. I don't like to pry. I bet. Let's see. Um, when can Nyoka get a next dose? I'm afraid it'll be the better part of a month. Our dear Nyoka tends to exhaust her supply rather quickly. Believe me, there's nothing I'd love better than to help you. <laughs> but there's not much I can do. Dr. Williams managed the town's allotments from his terminal upstairs. Even I can't access them. Ah, say no more. Uh, let's have a look. Intimidate? No. Persuade. I thought you were in charge around here, Auntie. You sure ought to be. Oh, you flattering old woman. Me, I'm just here to be a pretty face for the customers. <laughs> and to keep an extra key to the supply room for all the times Dr. Williams misplaced his. Good to know. Um, yes, a forgetful fellow. I was going to say, remind me, what supply room? This was. This is going to be a bit obvious when I break in. Careless experimentation with medicinal substances does take its toll, eventually. And uh, where can I find him? In the town graveyard, oh. I'm afraid. Poor man was always searching for the flower of enlightenment. On the way, he tried some rather daring substance combinations. The Flower of Enlightenment. It's a philosophist symbol of some kind, dearie. Never you mind. The graveyard's near the southern ruins. You're certainly welcome to pay our respects, but the bodies tend to attract beasties. I'll take a look. Are you going to go tussle with some raptodons? Because I've been practicing my dropkick. Do be careful. I'd hate for anything to happen to you, dearie. <laughs> I think she'd be one of the most interesting characters I've met in this game to have a relationship with if I was going to have any romantic relationships with any characters in the game. Okay, I guess I'll have to figure this out on my own. Chin up, dearie. Hey, Nikesta, how are you? Let's take, a, let's take a look. It's a bit obvious, isn't it? I'd stop talking to her and instantly run upstairs and go and break into the room. 
Da, 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 da. Let's take everything else. Heavy, heavy ammo. Oli oli toxic free. Actually, this isn't the... Oh, caffeinoid. There we go. We'll still search Dr. William's body, I think, because it'll be fun. Uh, what's in here? Is this this her bedroom? This is kind of disappointing. I thought it was going to be full of sex toys and stuff. And the terminal. Employee login. Uh, let's hack. I maybe just have enough hack skill, I think, with this companion present. Please select from the following menu options. Patient records. Uh, Naoka. Liver damage, like the result of prolonged alcoholism. Attitude problems, likely the result of prolonged alcoholism. And frequent social withdrawal, likely the result of prolonged alcoholism. Increased caffeinoid allotment. Warning, caffeinoid storage is approaching critical levels. Resupply recommended. Um, hang on. My records shouldn't be in here. Patient not found, thank you. Return to root. Uh, data storage. Uh, Williams. Uh, notes reactionism plus pep you up. I had hypothesized that this combination might awaken my mind and senses to the greater realities around us. If that is true, then it seems my faculties were quite overwhelmed in this instance. Shortly after the dosage, I experienced cold sweats, tremors, and mild paranoia. It is perhaps due to these latter effects that most of my notes from the episode are of little use. Nevertheless, the effects were most invigorating. I will have to attempt a milder dosage once heart palpitations subside. Bushberry extract plus debilirol. After my previous experiments, I theorized that deadening the external senses might allow the mind's eye to glimpse the eternal. Alas, I was only partially successful. The combination of substances quickly rendered me both blind and feeble, so much so that I soon fell into a stupor. I awoke some hours later in a pile of my own sick and a most curious craving for Tyler Ritos. Uh, Costellarine triple dosage. Searching file empty. Okay. And Edwards A. Who's A. Edwards? Work in progress. Um, is this some story? I'm not reading all that. Okay, exit. Uh, I've increased her dosage. Can I also get? I thought that was I can't. I've so I feel so guilty in this. I thought Felix was the law coming to get me. Oh, did I miss this one? Oh, it's just a toilet. Okay. Come to share a secret with Auntie Abigail. Can I not talk to you now? Come to Aww. share a secret with Auntie Abigail. I thought that was going to be so much fun. So, um. What's that? The Yacht Club vendor. There's people behind the alleyway I need to go and talk to behind that Yacht Club. Did I go in here, by the way? Seem out of sorts to you. She's always the worker. 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 Hey, Velma, I Frederick. Oh, I need to talk to these, these You're people. You're a lifesaver. Hope Abigail didn't give you a hard time. Just the usual. Any word on Braxton? Nothing. Don't know how much longer I can cover for him either. Give me those pills, will you? Here you go. You know, you might consider a real night's sleep instead. You anything to say? You? Plenty of work to do, especially with so many no-shows. Right, I'm going to get right in her face. Look, you can tell Catherine the new shipment will be ready when it's ready, all right? She's welcome to come up here and pack boxes herself if she's in such a hurry. She's some sort of boss? Uh, I'm not going to lie about this. Uh, take it easy. No, what are you talking about, Catherine? Sorry. Seems I got my cables crossed. Thought you were another shakedown tough from Fallbrook. Hope uh, you can forgive my okay. temper. This job has been running me ragged lately. First, my autoloader foreman stages a walkout, and now my chief pescatological health manager is missing. Your chief what? Braxton. He's in charge of getting the fish fat, but also making sure they don't get too many tumors. He's a real wizard with pharmaceuticals. But he has creative notions of working hours. Comes with living in a free colony, I guess. I kind of like the way how she's has like a permanently wrinkled nose, this character. Um, don't you have rules about that sort of thing? We're not keen on rules for rules sake around here. Means Braxton skips work sometimes, but it also means no company boss is telling me when I can take a shit. These MSI types are living the dream. <laughs> Since you don't seem to be constrained yourself, 
Maybe you could check up on him. He lives in the apartments. Sure. Tell him Velma said to get his lazy ass down here, or she might start noticing those extra drugs he's been taking from supply. Something else on your mind? Uh, let's talk about Caleb. Dang, you said Braxton had been stealing drugs. Stealing such a nasty word. Let's call it skimming. And yeah, let's just say I've noticed the sterile biotics we used for the fish would get used a little faster on Braxton's shifts. Okay. Uh, awfully nice of you not to say anything. We're not like those corporate towns where you get fined for sleeping on the wrong side of the bed. Besides, the Spacer's Choice stuff we use is cheap enough. And Braxton knows how to get the Saltuna, fat and mostly tumor free. Hmm, sounds delicious. Okay, so who's this Catherine you mentioned when I first came in? Sublight boss out of Fallbrook. Handles most goods that come in or out of Cellar Bay. Has a mouth like a ground six spacer. And Caleb? Unless you're here to tell me he's agreed to do his job again, I've got nothing to say. Caleb's the dude who's on strike. So, he says they need a, a raise to keep up with prices around here. Tell him to complain to Catherine in Fallbrook. Not me. Sublight's demanding more money for the same contracts, which means we're all in the same boat. Uh, they're hard workers, aren't they? Don't they deserve some compensation for that? Hard workers? They turn dials and flip switches. The machines do all the actual work. Caleb and his crew have it better than anyone else around here, I'll tell you that much. If Caleb wants to keep this job, he'd better get back to it. I'm about ready to hire sublight contractors at this rate. I think that would be a bad idea. Um, someone's going to notice your shortfalls before long. You're going to be held responsible. What's, what should I go with here? Are you willing to meet Caleb halfway? Let's try that first. For running me ragged while he takes an extended leave at the bar? Not on your life. Let's go with the lie. I know you're taking a percentage off the top. What would people say if I told them? Same thing as me. Where's your proof? Because I know no one's been poking around my terminal lately. Ah. Are you absolutely sure of that, Ms. Ballard? Just as a... Hypothetical. Nothing to see on my terminal, of course. Because I've done nothing wrong. Guilty. Okay. Someone's going to notice your shortfalls before long. You're going to be held responsible. Maybe so. But I bet you Caleb runs out of bits first. Then he'll have to come back. He says he's got a stash to tide his crew over. Could be he's all talk, but if the money's real, I bet you he keeps it at home, near the diner. It's tempting me to go and steal it. Let's talk about something else. Fine by me. I think we're done, actually. I'll talk to you later. I didn't actually get that achieved. I feel like I need to go and talk to this Catherine person. Um, let's close the doors. My companion's on the wrong side. That's going to be out. This is safe to steal. Toilet? Yep. Starting to learn this game. Oh, nice. This is nice. This is very nice. This is just another way in. Oh, I see. I see how we've come in and come around. Uh, nothing more I can do here then. Was there an upstairs bit? There was. I'm kind of looking for her terminal. Which looks like it's here. I'll have that. <laughs> oh, I love stealing stuff in this game. Nicely done. Signed Tossball poster. Oh, that was the one with um, the missing poster, right? Who was Celia that I was supposed to check with? I don't think I asked. I don't think I've found anyone called Celia. This term is only to be used for official work on behalf of Monarch Stellar Industries. Personal files. Um, mash random keys. Let's hack it. Please enter the name of the employee whose files you want to view. We want to go to Velma. Velma's personal files are morass of supply contracts, order forms, spreadsheets, and financial records. Careful study of her financials reveals that for the past several years, she has been slowly siphoning money from her operating budget into a personal account. The theft is cleverly hidden. Individual instances could be excused as rounding errors or mistakes in simple arithmetic. The sheer volume of occurrences, however, indicates deliberate intent. So we've got our um, information for that. And hecked. 
Braxton hex files are filled with Soltuna breeding charts, various pharmacological formulae, and musings on why Soltuna seem to prefer Boston beans over plain Borstwurst. Thrilling stuff. Messages? To Hect. Fishing Tank 23A are looking a little lumpy. If you're not going to make it in, that's fine, but you have to let me know so I can stay on top of the doses. To Nandy. We really need to talk about the Soltuna situation. I've had to let four batches rot in the warehouse over the last two months because we're not finding buyers. I know the situation with the board puts us in a tough spot, but we need to start thinking about how we're going to stop, how we're going to keep Stella Bay afloat if we can't get sales up. And hecked again. Seriously, who are you? You've missed three shifts. This is getting ridiculous. Okay. So we've got the evidence. Let's go and confront her with the evidence. Love taking shortcuts. I'd give you a friendlier welcome, but I'm up to my elbows and salt tuna guts. Yeah, we know you've been, um... We know you've been siphoning funds Unless you're off. here to tell me he's agreed to do his job again, I've got nothing to say. I got proof. If Caleb wants to keep this job, he'd better get back to it. I'm about ready to hire sublight contractors at this rate. I saw your accounts. You've been skimming money for years. You can afford to pay more. Yeah, and did you miss the part where I'm working doubles to cover for everyone who decides not to show? Ironic, isn't it? I'm the one who keeps this place running. That money's mine, one way or another. That sounds remarkably like Caleb's argument. <sighs> Fine. Tell Caleb he and his team can have their raise, but I need them back here immediately. Something else on your mind? No, not for now. That's one job done. Uh, let's just flee. We need to go and find this Braxton fella. That's oh, that's just a way, way in there. Where well, that guy was loitering there. Monarch. Was this was this one? Have I been in? I get oh, there's that Celia. Just make sure it's proper. This is locked. corporate HQ. Yeah, I'll Monarch Stella. Others, MSI. And that's Sanja. Before we do anything here, let's have a little poke around. See if we can find any interesting. Damn. Oh well, it's not. So... I'm not going to get into trouble for this. Uh, view data. A summary report on conditions within Stella Bay. Productivity has continued to improve since relaxing MSI's old restrictions, making allowances for employee benefits such as time off for illness, and personal leave, 24.9% reductions in shift length and 52.3% more positive feedback. Fishery output is up, reconciliation with the board remains a long-term goal, blah, blah, blah. That's a little bit too heavy going for me. Working slogans. Our profit margins are stellar. MSI Soul Tuna, 43% more nutrient-dense than the leading brands. And Stella Bay, a tolerable center of commerce in a hostile and chaotic galaxy. They're crap. They are really crap. Is that it? Okay, I thought there'd be some some sort of real evidence in there. What's this do? Sanjar's to-do list. Review guidelines for annual self-review. Select font for annual self-review. Format annual self-review. Schedule time to write annual self-review. Write annual self-review. And tell Celia she's doing an excellent job. That sounds like a lot of hard work there. Right there. Do I need to investigate this to get the XP for finding it? Celia. Greetings. And welcome to Monarch Stellar Industries. Producers and purveyors of the finest salt tuna and halcyon. What can I do for you today? Uh, what was that exchange about? You having money trouble? Not at all. Mr. Nandi treats us all right and pays us well. I just spent most of my paycheck on raptidon acid. Really? Do you normally blow your money on raptidon parts? Laws, no. Sometimes it's canid teeth. Or a mantis warm wings. Whatever Sebastian has in stock, really. Why? Why are you buying so much from Sebastian? So I can talk to him, of course. Oh, God. He doesn't get going about much else. Sort of the strong, silent type. Unfortunately, my apartment's kind of filling up with his stuff. And some of the neighbors are complaining about the smell. That's true. Yes. Just ask him on a date. I couldn't. What if he says no? Hey, maybe you could ask him for me. 
I, okay. I mean, a no would still be bad, but it won't be quite as embarrassing if you ask. Oh, Mr. Nandi's doing that thing where he breathes through his nose real slowly. I'd better get back to work. Is this game just one massive sort of dating simulator? Uh, wait, I'm curious. What do you see in Sebastian? He doesn't talk much, but he's got this quiet intensity, you know? Like there's stuff going on inside his head that you have no idea about. Plus, he's got great legs. It's hard to find a man who doesn't skimp on lower body exercises. Okay, that's all I need to know. Sorry, I've had enough. sometimes I get carried away. I'll talk to you later. You know, I've been streaming an hour and a half, and I haven't shot anyone yet. Well, new business turns up at last. Celia, didn't I tell you our new statistics-based advertising model would be a hit? That you did, sir. How can yield improvements of 26.7% not quicken the pulse? Oh, God. How can 32% cost savings not moisten the loins? Ooh. You've often posed these very questions. Clear my schedule. This newcomer has a meeting with me. No, you have a meeting with me. Did you hear that power play, Celia? They don't make them like this anymore in Halcyon. I only hope you don't judge me by my handshake. Now, what business brings you here? I forget, actually. Um, I'm just looking for the information broker. Hiram? Why, he's probably still out at Devil's Peak. Not that he's had the courtesy to notify me, at any rate. But if you're here for him, I suppose that means you aren't here for Saltuna. Sorry to disappoint. Um, if I have to eat one more weird science project passed off as food in this sprat-screwed colony, I'm going to stab someone. Um, yeah, let's go with that. Yes, that's it. Channel your anger. I really wish I could do the same. <laughs> I had hoped that livening up our advertisements with enticing figures would draw the other corporations back to our bosom, but it seems we're back to the drawing board. What exactly are you trying to uh, accomplish? Thanks to the so-called hazard clause, Monarch has been cut off from the board's resources and protection for 10 years now. now we've kept ourselves in business by trading with individual corporations, but given the off-the-books nature of those transactions, such arrangements are precarious. So, uh, and you're tired of scrounging and scraping by, is that it? Yes, freedom is a tempting ideal. But a rather costly paramour. Can't imagine why you'd sneer at the notion of a free colony. Could it be because you're an agent of the establishment? I used to be young and idealistic too, but you can't run a city on high-minded ideals. Exactly. Intellectualism fuels the train to mankind's future, but the tracks the train runs on are forged from practicality. Sounds like something out of the chairman's own notes, Vic. Yes. It's as though the good vicar has plucked the very words from my brain. Wait, he's lost his accent he had when we first started talking to him. Uh, so what do you mean to do about it? Well, Mr. Nandi here has a rather ingenious plan to get MSI restored to the board. On our terms, mind you. Do I want to do this? Returning to the board is your only chance if you hope to survive here on Monarch. That doesn't mean it'll be easily achievable. Indeed not. No worthwhile plan was ever simple. That's what I always say. And if our advertising scheme hasn't borne fruit, then perhaps it's time we took matters into our own hands. Enough preamble. What's the plan? It's a two-pronged approach. The first part involves seeing Stellar Bay properly defended. Fine. But how do you mean to do that? With a Bolt 52 cartridge, of course. What? If you can get us what we need to rejoin the board, starting the Bolt 52, we'll be able to become one of the most productive and secure cities in Halcyon. And you'll have a powerful ally on the board. Mm, that's a curious thing, because I think I'm working to undermine the board. But if I have an ally on the board, oh, I don't know. Let's just, let's just do the quest, see what it does. This Bolt 52 sounds useful. What is it? Why, one of the strongest defenses in Halcyon. An extremely powerful ordinance. 
I was starting to get bored listening to you until you said the phrase extremely powerful ordinance. It is quite the rush. And where do I find one? In the old arms building southwest of town, which used to be part of Stellar Bay before we had to move our walls in. These days it's overrun with marauders and raptodons. Why are you saying it that way? Saying what? Which way? Arms. You're saying arms. <laughs> Capital instead of arms. That's just what it's called. It's supposed to stand for something, but I forget what. I'm sure I'll know when I find it. Oh, and while you're at it, there should be a terminal in the arms building with some dangerous information. Perhaps you could delete it so it doesn't fall into the wrong hands. This guy's a sleaze bag. I need to ask you about something. What can I do for you? Do we need to ask something? Um. I met Grim, the landing pad guard. I see. And was his delivery of the MSI authorized greeting up to snuff? He did a... <laughs> that guy's a world-class moron. He did a bang-up job. Well, that's excellent. I'll see that your feedback makes it into his review. What else can I do for you? Okay, this guy's a corporate scumbag. Whatever's on those terminals is probably going to be more useful to whoever we meet outside the walls, I think. I've got to go.